Joining us now from Washington, D.C. is Meto Kolowski. He's the president of the United Macedonian Diaspora. Thanks so much for joining us, Meto. Now, tell me, if people are so passionate about Macedonia's name, why then did so few people vote in the referendum? Thank you, uh, Maria and TRT. Uh, first thing I think we have to we have to explain is that this referendum uh, from the get-go uh, was a consultative uh, referendum. Uh, the government pushed through uh, this referendum question, which was, are you for NATO and EU accepting the agreement between Macedonia and Greece? Uh, according to our polls, the majority of Macedonians, I think over 90 percent, are opposed to a name uh, change, uh, even accepting the fact that they would have to change the name in order to join NATO and EU. And plus, the prime minister said, regardless of what people vote, uh, the government will continue to push uh, forward on their agenda. And mm -hmm. so uh, the, the people were very frustrated with this. The fact that 137 countries recognized Macedonia, the prime minister did not incorporate and build a national consensus on what the solution should be uh, on the name negotiations. Many people are very frustrated the fact that they're kept out of NATO and EU after meeting all requirements. And every time, uh, I mean, even in 2004, when a referendum was held back then, the NATO and EU said, pass this, uh, don't pass this referendum, support the implementation of the Okri framework okay. agreement, and you'll join NATO. Mm -hmm. Meta, now you mentioned that the Prime Minister Zoran Zaev says he will try to push the decision through Parliament, but do you think he'll succeed? I don't believe he will succeed. Uh, the Constitution of Macedonia states that in order for this referendum to be binding or legitimate, 50 percent turnout had to be uh, successful, right, completed. And so, unfortunately, they reached, or fortunately, they reached 37, just under 37 percent. I really doubt that the opposition or any other uh, members of parliament that do not belong to the governing coalition will support constitutional changes, particularly since Macedonia's position for many years now has been no constitutional changes on the name. Okay, Meto, thank you so much for that. That was Meto Kolowski speaking to us from Washington. He's the president of the United Macedonian Diaspora.